On my back to learning HTML canvas, let me show you how you can set up a mouse follower. So I've got a circle right here in center and when I hover over it or over the canvas, the circle is redrawn in the position of my mouse cursor so I don't have to left click or anything. It just follows the movement and by default, so the initial draw is in center. Let me delete these parts and we'll recreate them step by step. At first we have our canvas drawn and we get the element. So it's the usual setup using my canvas as an ID and then CDX as our 2D element. Let us draw the red circle first. We've done similar things already, but this time we use X and Y here as parameters. Then we're going to pass. We'll have to clear the canvas every time so that the circles aren't drawn on top of one another. We'll begin the path, then we'll draw the circle using CDX arc. Fill style is red, we'll have to call the fill and close the path. Let me use the initial draw right here already. And here I'll pass initial x, initial y as arguments. I'll set them up as canvas width and height divided by 2 so that they are in center. So this is our starting point and now we'll just have to add the event listener for our mouse move. We'll use the mouse move and function E. Let me check my parenthesis and now we should be good here. So what we need is simply a value for x and y that's connected to our mouse position. And we can do that right here using mouse x and mouse y. We use an e-client minus the rectangle. For x it's on the left and for y it's on the top. 
this is where so top left is where the values are zero zero for our position in pixels this is why we've used top and left and top for y because y is for the height and left for x because x is for the horizontal the width so now draw circle will simply have to use mouse x and mouse y as arguments And now everything works. So simple setup, but a principle that's once again very useful, especially when we try to create games using HTML canvas. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.